if you are someone that want to secure overseas job from Australia or you've been applying for Australian job that is overseas job in Australia and it has not been clicking you don't need to get tired this video is for you this video will help you to secure overseas job in Australia and you know what that means once you have that job your visa is guaranteed and you are moving with the next available flight if this sounds like something you want to hear please stay back and let's dig in hi everyone welcome to my channel jane kelly's creation where we keep it real my name is jane and i live in australia welcome thank you my returning subscribers you guys rock and if you are new in this channel please do subscribe to my channel and become a member of this wonderful community where we keep it real authentic information please do like my video i know you will like it you will like it and please share if you can all right let's dig in so today i said let me share this update many people have been saying they've been searching for job they some people say they have applied they didn't get feedback and so on i want to let you know that australia is one of the most sought after migration destination in current days as in in this year currently many people want to come to Australia so as you are searching for this job know that you are not the only one there are so many people and this video today I'm going to tell you things that once you succeed doing this you can even apply for a job that is meant for locals like people living in Australia because you can match them toe to toe the only thing left is for the employer to take you and the employer will know that you are 100% guarantee of visa like so why wouldn't the employer grab you if you if you do this all right let's talk about this in most videos you've heard me talk about assessment you've heard me talk about skill assessment what is skill assessment skill assessment simply means that I earn my qualification in Kenya, in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Bangladesh, in India, in UK, in Canada, anywhere in the world. And I want to migrate to Australia or I want to find a job in Australia. Let's assume I'm, I'm an accountant. Now, how would an Australian employer employ you from outside? How would they know that you are actually an accountant? How would they know that you are actually a teacher? How would they know that you're actually a mechanic? Tell me, are they prophets? No. Are they going to be assessing your qualification? Just an employer that just wants to grab a worker and fill the gap in their companies. Do you actually think they have the time to be assessing your qualification and tell you, bring this, bring that? No, they don't have time to go through this process. They want already made. And how will you become an already made? By simply doing this, I'm going to tell you today. Okay, so we talk about skill assessment. Skill assessment is just a way to tell people in Australia that actually I am an accountant and I am a qualified accountant in Australia. I am a teacher and I'm actually a qualified teacher in Australia. I'm actually a qualified agricultural engineer in Australia. How will you get this? By simply doing your skill assessment. I am going to tell you to stop running away from skill assessment. You can never run away from it. Miracle, no, the entire Jesus. So you see this one. By the time you do your skill assessment, the miracle will come. Eh? As a skill assessment, you're going to do it. And it is not hard. It may be challenging and it's not hard. Most of occupations I know, they don't require you to come and write exams. The people that actually do exams are people like nurses, doctors, and pharmacists, and optometrists, and so on. Engineers, architects, marketing managers, marketing specialists, economists, advertisers, count them. They don't write exams. All they need to do is to supply their work, their qualification, their experience. So, I have shown you in so many ways on how to find your assessing body. I've shared it and I'm going to share it under the description section of this video today. I know most of you here are familiar with that list. 
by now. I always talk about it. That is the beginning of your migration journey to Australia. Without familiarizing yourself with that occupation list, you still have a very long way to go. If you want to migrate to Australia via scale visa, okay, scale migration. Now, when you click them, you can either scroll down or you type in your occupation and search it. Once you find your occupation, by the side of it, you will see their assessing authority. Just right click it. Then you can go to the page. Once you go to the page, find overseas assessment or assessment for migration, depending on how they write it, but it has to be for migration. Then you follow their instructions. One good thing there is that they will give you a guideline. Each of the assessing body, they have their guideline. They will tell you how they're going to assess you. They will even tell you fees to pay. Okay? So you follow this. Most of the thing they need from you is that money you have to pay. I know most of you will come and ask me how much is that. I know it, but I can't be telling you one by one. I know most of you will want me to tell you how much, how much, but now I'm giving you a link to go and find your occupation and find the amount you will pay. You know, in this channel, I try to keep things practical and explain it as much as I can because, you know, the love I have for you, eh, is too much, okay? So, find your occupation. Find your assessing body. Go to the page and find out how much the fees differ. So, the amount an engineer will use to assess is different thing from what an economist or a pharmacist or a doctor will use for their own assessment. And their process is different but one good thing is that in their website they will explain everything to you okay you will know how to do it okay I, I don't like to lie to people I always like to tell you the truth there is no way you can run away from skill assessment eh? I believe in miracle it may happen one over 100 what is the possibility that you will be that one out of 100 JJ do your skill assessment when you finish your skill assessment, most of them last for three years. Once you have a positive skill assessment, I am telling you that you can even put your head or write to a company and tell them, I have a positive migration skill assessment, which means my occupation, my qualification is deemed measurable with that of someone that graduated from Australia. So the employer will know, okay, I don't have Wahala now. I will just bring this person in. The only thing is that I need to refer the person to our immigration agent or company immigration agent and they will just do the visa because you know your visa is guaranteed. Unless you have other problems like your medicals and maybe English and so on. But most of the time, when they require skill assessment, they will want English requirements. They will tell you what they need. So don't tell me what do they need. It depends on your occupation. Okay, what they need from occupation A is different from what they need from occupation B, depending on the assessing authority. So that shouldn't be the question we'll be talking about because I have given you the tools. I want you to go and find this thing. I've given you the link. All you need is that you scroll down. I'm an economist, economist, IT specialist, computer engineer. Type it in and scroll down and find out all the occupation around you are qualification or your profession sometimes you will have up to five options then you click on the number each occupation in australia has ans code code click on that ans code code it will explain to you the duty of this person this person that is called a marketing manager this is this person's duty this person that is called an advertiser this is their duty so you check is this what i'm doing because when you be submitting your work experience for the assessment, that's exactly what they want you to incorporate in your experience to make sure that you are actually qualified. You actually have experience here. Most of the time, your assessing body might require one year experience. Some will require up to three years experience. So don't ask how many years experience. No, it depends on the occupation. Okay. So what the other person require is different from what you require so finding it out is very important now if you want one-on-one -on -one consultation please consult me i will leave a link here so during the consultation we'll go through this and see your option and stuff i do not coach people unless we have our initial 
consultation because initial consultation will actually give you an idea whether you want to to this part and actually we we'll know what we are dealing with okay so i don't just accept to coach someone through their migration journey to australia without consultation there must be that initial consultation okay so if you need that please click the link and do the due diligence i shall go ahead with one-on-one -on -one consultation with you now i just want to tell you something skill assessment is something you can do you know why i opened this channel is for you i know that many people are so ignorant when it comes to australian migration you keep thinking this big is this big stone or this mighty thing on top of your head no gradually gradually you will get there you do not need an agent for your skill assessment you don't even need me but if you think it's too much you can do consultation so that we narrow it to your own particular pathway instead of a generalized video that i'm doing but all my videos are well explanatory please you need to do your skill assessment now let's talk about you doing it yourself you can consult them you can write them remember if you get confused if they have so many assessment pathways like vet assess has so many assessment pathways so if you want to be specific you can send them email through their website contact us or help desk or so on click on it send an email and ask them question i found this occupation or maybe you said this two occupation matches my qualification and experience which assessment pathway do i go through check the fees the fees are written in their website check if they require english and how much do they require do they require seven six or five point five you know and do they require english from your country and so on you do not require an agent for anything for your skill migration for your skill assessment you do not and you can do this yourself stick to my channel and if there is any more content you want me to create on Australia migration just drop it on the comment section and we'll get to there there are so many content we still need to create but I always listen to you guys because I do my video based on the popular demand skill assessment shows that I am capable I am equal to tax to Australia standard for my qualification and occupation for my experience you are telling an employer yes I am as the same as an Aussie person so employ me my visa is guaranteed let me tell you one thing once you are coming through skill migration and you qualify for everything even if you have been denied multiple visas you will not be denied this one because this is kind of a permanent visa even if you are coming through work visa of five years they won't be talking about whether you will go or not they know your skill is needed so no one is going to look whether you were denied this visa before unless the visa was denied on criminal basis or something else but if it's for the basis of that you don't have enough time in your country to go back or they don't know sure you're going to go back now you don't need to worry with skill assessment job secured you can migrate another thing i want to tell you is this with skill assessment positive skill assessment there are so many visas you can apply for without a job from your home country to australia i have treated them in this channel but before you go for them you must have a positive skill assessment the question is this what are you waiting for if you actually want to migrate to australia what are you waiting for okay if you are confused hit me on one-on-one -on -one consultation and i shall guide you until then please make use of my videos if you are new in this channel i want you to take time go through my playlist go through so many other videos not only this one you are watching today please there are so many videos that will be helpful to you for migration purposes in this channel please go through them and familiarize yourself with things before you start asking questions okay all right and i wish you good luck in your aussie journey and i hope to hear your testimony one day okay all right so that brings us to the end of this video and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe hit that subscription button and become a member of this beautiful family and if you haven't liked this video please do like this video and i will see you in my next video okay thank you bye